What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about loadout slots in Diablo 4. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you hadn't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now, when it comes to loadouts in Diablo 4, it's kind of something a lot of people in the community are asking for, and some ways other people in the community don't really mind. And I'm kind of to the point where it doesn't really matter to me. If they add them, it would be nice. If they don't, it's kind of whatever. But I do look at other games out there and may not be exactly action RPGs, but there's a lot of MMOs out there that actually have uh, the ability to have loadout slots for individual characters. And I think a lot of people are asking for this in Diablo 4 because the amount of time it takes you to get to a level 100 and if you have a, let's say, a Barbarian, for example, and you may want to try two or three different builds on that character, you don't want to, want to necessarily have to uh, go in and, you know, make a new Barbarian character just to try different builds if you're not wanting to respec every time you're wanting to try something new. So I think that's why a lot of people in the community are asking for the option to have more uh, loadouts or have extra loadout slots for their characters. And yes, I do get that it is uh, it is a time-consuming thing. Believe me, if you're working, you have family, whatever the case can, can be, some days I don't have but a couple hours to play, especially if I'm making videos or something after I get off work. So I get that it's hard to go in and make multiple uh, characters of the same class just to have different builds. So the best thing that you know you can do is just respec. Of course, that's what we all do. And now gold's not that hard to make in-game later on, so respecing is really not that expensive. But I think it would be a quality of life kind of improvement. I understand why people want, uh, you know, loadouts on each class. And even if it was just a handful, I mean, three to five maybe or two to five, I think that would make a lot of people in the community happy. But there's one thing that I kind of look at when I think of, you know, having extra loadouts. When it comes to the end game, to me, when you hit about 60 to 70, and I have a couple characters, you know, in the high 50s, right around 60, and then a couple characters that are, I'm working on kind of towards 50. And I've noticed some of the builds that I've been trying out are not really viable after a certain point. And it almost feels like once you hit about 70, that there's probably going to be one or two builds that are really going to be viable for that end game. Most of them are going to be just kind of a mix of the same build. They might have a few different abilities or something like that here or there or something different on the Paragon board. But the build itself is really not going to change that much. And of course, as the game moves on and the meta changes overall and things get nerfed and buffed, you know, certain classes, yes, the build may change completely, but at the same time, the old build won't be viable anymore and the new one will be kind of the way to go for that particular class. So overall, I'm not sure if the devs are really ever going to add loadout slots. That's the one thing that a lot of people have been asking for. And oddly enough, that's the one thing they really have not discussed a lot, you know, in answering, um, you know, most everything that people have been posting on social media or the forums, the devs have been getting back to pretty quickly and, and answering these questions. And the ones about loadout slots, I really haven't seen a lot of talk about from the devs. So maybe they're working on something and maybe kind of you know, they have the same feeling of this is how the game has been, so this is kind of the way we're going to leave it. Or, you know, you only have a certain amount of builds in the end that you can use. And so, yes, when you're leveling up, you might want to try a lot of different builds. But when you get to the end game, there's probably going to be one or two builds on each individual class that are really going to work for end game activities. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know, would you like to see loadouts added to Diablo 4 or would you like it to stay like it is? Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.